Hi, I'm Arjun, and in this video we're going to go over the basics of Rev. This is the bar of Rev extrusion. This is the basis of everything on your robot. It comes in three sizes, with large, medium, and one with 45 degree angles. The 45 degree angle bar allows you to make triangles, which are stronger than simply having one bar sticking up. There are different brackets in order to put two pieces of rev extrusion together. These are brackets that go on the sides of your extrusion, for example here, that are less than 90 degrees. There are also brackets like this that are greater than 90 degrees, as well as one that is 90 degrees, for example, right here. In addition to that, there are two brackets here, the inside corner bracket and the lap bracket. The inside corner bracket is used to strengthen your 90 degree angles. For example, you can see it's being used right here. The lap bracket is to put two pieces of ref extrusion perpendicular to each other, like you can see here. In addition to that, there is also the variable angle bracket, which you can see here, which allows you to make any different angle bracket that you want. There's also the metal brackets, which are stronger than the plastic brackets included in the kit. We're now going to show you how to put two pieces of rev extrusion together using brackets. We have these hex head screws which are 8 millimeters long and in order to put them into the rev extrusion you see there's slots on the rev extrusion and we can slide them into the slots. If I want to create a 90 degree angle I can put two of these screws in and then I can take my 90 degree bracket and I can adjust the screw position in order to get them into the right place. I then take one of these nylon lock nuts, which are called nylon lock nuts because they have a colored insert at the top of them with nylon in it, and we take we put the nylon part on the top, and I can screw it in. But one thing is that this is a little bit harder to do in our opinion, so what we prefer to do is actually put the screws in the bracket first, and then screw the nylon lock nuts on later. And I've already done that for one of these 90 degree brackets right here. In order to put these two pieces together, I can actually just slide the two, I can slide the screws into the rev extrusion. And then I tighten it by using the 5.5 millimeter nut driver and turning it clockwise. In order to loosen it, I would turn it counterclockwise. One thing to note is to not tighten anything until all of your screws are in. Another thing to note is that plastic brackets have ridges on one side. This side should be flush with the revs. It helps center the plastic bracket with the rev extrusion. Now I've finished tightening these and we have a fairly strong joint here. But if I wanted to use one of these inside angle brackets, which would make it even stronger, what I would have to do is first put the screws in and then I'm going to have to take this um, out in order to put the inside angle bracket in. So I can f lo first loosen these and then slide them out. I then slide the inside angle bracket onto the rev extrusion and then I slide it into the rev extrusion. Now you can see that I've sl um, slided it onto the rev extrusion. I'm just going to tighten them. Here you can see I've made a nice strong 90 degree um, joint using both the 90 degree bracket that goes on the side of the rev as well as the inside angle bracket. Thank you for watching. Comment or email wizards.exe at gmail.com if you have any questions.